And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's start off with that storm tracker again. Luckily enough, besides the lake wind advisory for the uh, American Falls Reservoir, we're not seeing any warnings moving forward. So it's going to be another peaceful Saturday, at least the further south that you go. In Pocatello, you'll see a little bit of wind from that lake wind advisory, but not much else. Idaho Falls, however, close enough to see this next wave of storms, which is going to be cutting right across where they've been for the last few days. They're close enough to see a couple showers from that. Rexburg, however, and Rexburg and further north than that are definitely going to be seeing some thunderstorms as we move into tomorrow. So depending on how far north you're situated, depends on whether you're going to see any more thunderstorms moving forward through this weekend. So Pocatello stays clear for the most part, but as you move further north, it's going to get worse. Satellite radar, as we zoom that out, you de can definitely tell that the worst of it is definitely past us. That low pressure system that we were seeing drag across for the last couple days is well past us and even though we are seeing a little bit more moisture move through the strength that was from that low pressure system that brought us most of those thunderstorms brought us that tornado that we saw up in Butte County yesterday that has long passed and into this weekend I wouldn't expect to see anything that bad moving forward future trackers showing that the back half of the day a lot worse than the start of the day it does build gets as south as Blackfoot but for the most part, that's scattered storms compared to the heavier thunderstorms you're going to see up in Montana. So moving forward, expect Pocatello to at least be a little bit more peaceful compared to further north. Clouds build in the Snake River Plain for tonight, though, so keeping a distance for now. 53 in Pocatello, 52 in Idaho Falls. Over in the Central Mountains, still building into more of those storms. So they were seeing them first from this last storm, and they're still continually seeing that. But they're building back to those solid storms for the rest of the weekend. Highlands in Western Wyoming still seeing the scattered rain and thunderstorms from that last system that moved through 45 in Island Park 44 in Jackson now moving into tomorrow a little bit more solid of those storms storms continue in the mountainous regions both the highlands in western Wyoming and central mountain storms for some though a little bit more scattered and then finally for the snake River plain rain for some once again the further north you go the more likely you're going to see that rain 74 in Pocatello 71 in Island or excuse me Idaho Falls so we are seeing those temperatures drastically drop as well compared to those mid 80s we're going to see those mid 70s, but they don't keep a distance for long. Take a look. Pocatello Monday through Thursday, all above 80, 89 on Wednesday and Monday, possibly getting into the 90s. So that's summer weather. This is the first week of summer, so expect to see those hotter temperatures moving forward. Idaho Falls framed by rain, but definitely seeing those hotter temperatures in the middle of next week, Saturday, Sunday and Thursday, Friday, seeing some chance of storms, not as bad as what you're going to see up at Rexburg, up in Montana, but definitely prevalent threat there. Teton area, very similar, but a lot stronger. Saturday through Monday, seeing those storms. Then finally for the Central Mountains, also seeing the storms on Saturday, but staying cool, uh, warm and hot for that 90 on Monday. Now, brainstormers, we talked about the rain in Pocatello, but in Idaho Falls, they've had much more than average rain this month. True or false? We'll have the answer coming up.